So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make thumbnails like Emrek. So on video right now, we have some example of Emrek's thumbnails. And this is what I'm going to be making in this video. So first of all, we're going to be needing to open Usu. And the reason for this is to get the background that is normally on the map to put in the thumbnail. So once you've found the map, just go into the editor and open the songs folder from the editor. In that case, you will be able to find the background that the map uses. Now just go back into Photoshop and drag the file in. Now first thing that you'll need to do is check to see that the image is 1920 by 1080, which is the normal HD resolution. And now we can actually just start to do the thumbnail. As you can see from Emrex's uh, thumbnails here, the characters are normally outlined and have a little glow to them, so we're going to be doing that. Depending on the colors on your map's background, you might not be able to do this, but most map you can just use the magnetic tool to be able to crop out the character and since it will be a small part of the thumbnail you don't actually have to be very precise so normally it's just better to use the magnetic tool as it will just make your job a lot easier but if your background is unsupportive just use the polygonal uh, lasso tool to manually crop it out so this is going to be sped up in the video because the process is not really that important it's not really hard to do just doing the same thing over and over again but um, I'll include it in the video anyway because this is just me, you know, kind of cropping out the character. So once you're done with this, we're going to basically separate the character from the background. So go ahead and press Ctrl J, which will make a duplicate layer. So the layer that you just cropped out will look like this and you will have another background layer. Now you want to go ahead and go to the background layer and put a blur on it. It doesn't have to be too intense but just make sure that there is a blur on it so that the focus will be onto the character and not the background. And then I'm also gonna add a completely just black layer and put darken on it so you know the background is a little bit darker than the actual character layer. Now we're basically done with the background so I'm just gonna move my uh, character a bit more to the side to make room for you know the big text that's normally popping out of the thumbnail and you know you can make the character a little bit bigger and whatnot just however you like it. So once you're done positioning the character now you just go ahead and add the effects. First of all the stroke effect just add like one or two uh, pixels of that and then for the outer glow what you want to do is you want to go ahead and find the color that sticks out from the background the most and then you want to make it a bit lighter and then just put as much glow as you want because even though we're following Emrek's style of thumbnails it's still mostly preference. I'm actually gonna go back to Osu because some of Emrek's thumbnails actually have um, hit circles on them like this one. So we're gonna be doing that by just taking a screenshot of it. So I also made sure to use the Rafi skin which is what Emrek likes to use so it would match and what i'm doing here is just basically going to the hard part by using you know two times playback and stuff but it's really not fast enough and once you're on the hard part just take pictures of some patterns and that's what we're going to be using this is also the last time we're going to be using osu for making this thumbnail so if you still have it open you can close it now so i actually took a lot of screenshots so i can just you know pick which one i would want to use so just drag it into the photoshop file and since we only want the um hit circle part I am going to be cropping out everything that's not the hit circle pattern. So now you can just place it wherever and all you have to do is change the blending mode to add or linear dodge which would make the hit circle stick out. And then you just have to put it over any uh, dead spaces or empty spaces just so it wouldn't seem that bland. Next we have the text which um, basically you just put whatever how much pp you have normally or the accomplishments and then the map name underneath it but for the font you'd normally want to pick a font that is like bold and easily visible examples of these types of fonts are boldini uh maybe leonardo black and mont which is what i usually use so i'm gonna be using that in this video so now we'll do the color so just add a gradient overlay and we'll do the colors so how emrex thumbnail does text color is basically there's going to be the color that represents the picture the most and then there's going to be a paler version of or like a whiter version or just like white color in the middle and then it goes back to that color in the start so that's what i'm going to be doing and what i'm going to be showing here all right so just like that now we have this so now we're just going to go ahead and add an inner glow that's just going to be white and we're going to up the opacity and up the size a bit not very like visible not very big but just to make it easier to see 
what the text actually says because without it it, it just kind of blends into the background a bit and next we have the drop shadow for the drop shadow color just pick the, whatever color is your text and make it like a lot darker and put it on the bottom left a bit and make it a bit further away and now just put that text into a group and put some outer glow on that group this way the outer glow is actually underneath the drop shadow and not above it next we need to add a second text to so just duplicate that text that you have before and change the text to whatever name of the map that you were playing in the video oh, and make sure that it's in full caps because no caps just looks ugly with bold text and then just position it to be under or above the bigger text make it smaller but not too small that it's still visible and then after that just change the smaller text to basically have a different color in this case i'll make it like gray and white and another and the gray again just make it a color that is less vibrant than the bigger text and now i'm gonna take the background again and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make uh, an outline of a part of this background and i'm going to change the blending mode on that layer so that just creates this nice little white um, outline on the actual thumbnail and after that i'm gonna be making another solid layer so just fill it with any color you want just as, as long as it's like fully uh, filled and uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make um transform this layer to be a little bit bigger so that it's just outside the canvas and then clear everything that's inside the canvas and then i'm gonna add an outer glow so this way there's a glow from the outside of the canvas and now all you have to do is just add some finishing touches so whether you want to make the character bigger add other glow or um, if you want to cut something out then it's time to do it here and right after that you're just ready to export so the psd file of what i made in this video will be put for download in my discord server so go ahead and join that if you need it, it might help you if you have any troubles so this is the result of what i made so yeah i hope this is helpful to you guys to like have a guidance on how to make this if it was, then please do leave a like. And if you have any questions, ask them in the comments or join my Discord, which I am more likely to answer. But for the time, I don't really know how fast I'm going to answer because I don't always check my Discord server. But um, yeah, I will more likely check. So go ahead and do any of those if you want to ask me. And I hope I'll be able to answer your question. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.